Do you think that your sibling might be a narcissist? Are you in a family where it seems like you are always the scapegoat, you are always put down, you're lesser than your other siblings, and whether or not your parents might be toxic or narcissistic, it feels like it's coming from the sibling as well. My name is Lise Colucci. Let's talk about narcissistic siblings. This is more than sibling rivalry, and this is way more than just a golden child. So here are some signs that you might have a narcissistic sibling. They may need to be the center of the family attention at all cost for all things, no matter what. Even if something's going on in your life, they will steal the attention and draw it back toward them. They will create situations where everyone is glowing and gushing and giving them all the attention and completely ignoring you. In fact, you can almost see a sly little look in their eye when they get that attention and they see the attention pulled away from you and onto them. There is an arrogance and a boastfulness about it that says, I am the center of this family. I was born to be catered to by all these people. So narcissistic siblings often will tend to need to have a lot of attention and a lot of focus on them, like I said, but more than just for their achievements, attention on them so that they are always sought after and asked about. And when they're not, they seem really you know, agitated or they start having narcissistic meltdowns, okay? And not, not only within the family, but like say there's a friend group and you have friends that you share with that sibling, they may do something like try and interfere with those friendships. They are really amazing at the triangulation game because they are so used to pitting you against your parents and pitting your parents against you and playing mom to go against dad and playing dad to go against mom and then playing the whole of the dynamic of the family. The narcissistic sibling, even when there's narcissistic parents, can sometimes rule the roost. So narcissistic siblings will often be really envious of any success that you have, any achievements you have, any friends you have, any relationships you have, especially if they're lacking those things in their life or if they're insecure about those things in their life. You know what I mean? Is this all sounding a little too close to home? If so, let me know in the comments what's going on for you or what you've experienced, okay? Have you ever noticed how your potentially narcissistic sibling seems to have absolutely no empathy and doesn't care about anything except their world, their thoughts, their beliefs, what's going on for them, and they don't really care about anybody else, even in their own family? Have you seen that lack of empathy? I mean, sometimes I talk with people in coaching and their narcissistic sibling is almost more toxic in their life and more intrusive in their life than their toxic parent. They'll come to talk to me about, you know, their narcissistic parents and their family and their upbringing. And then as they start to see things, especially if they go no contact with those narcissistic parents and the narcissistic sibling starts ruling it all and starts being the focus of attention and it just gets bigger and bigger, right? The and the exposure to them gets more and more while the exposure to the rest of the family is less and less, it becomes really clear what you're dealing with, right? It becomes really clear that not only are your parents potentially narcissistic, but so is this sibling. Ouch. Narcissistic siblings love the game of emotional blackmail. So you go no contact with your narcissistic parent or parents, okay? And your, and your sibling who you think is okay, or they've always been a certain way, but you didn't quite put it together, starts to pull you back into the family dynamic and the family drama. They won't leave you alone. They are putting themselves in the position of the intentional flying monkey because what does it get them when you're upset with mom and dad? Attention. It gets the juicy gossip. It gets all the information they can run back to mom and dad with to talk about how awful you are. And flip side, it gets you feeling like they're on your side. And so you give them information and you feel like, well, this is the only family I have. I'm gonna, you know, talk to my sibling. When in fact, this narcissistic sibling is about to turn on you. This happens often and they'll try to pull you back into family drama. They will give you information about anything going on in the family that might make you feel guilty for not responding. 
And they're doing this on purpose because it gets them attention. They can sit back and watch what they orchestrated when you step back into the toxic dynamic. They know that you have struggles with your toxic parent. They witness it. They lived the same struggles. They just handled it differently. They are also narcissistic people themselves. So they believe that is how the world works. And in all of this, there'll be this emotional blackmail where if you don't respond, you are an awful person or look what a better look what a better child they are compared with how you are you know this kind of insistence that you are worse than them and they're eating it up and they're loving it a narcissistic sibling will often act like you owe them something right or they'll set up positions in life where they have power over you where they have some control over you whether it be you work for them or you owe them money, or they have helped you in some way in your life, and instead of it just being a thank you, here's repayment, or thank you and no, re no repayment necessary, it's this thing they hold over your head, right? Or they create a situation where the only way to find peace with your toxic parents is through them, because you know, they can talk to mom and dad and you can't right? So they find this way to tip the balance so that they're the ones who have power. Narcissistic siblings will not respect your boundaries. Maybe one of the more extreme versions of boundary crossing, I would say, would come from a narcissistic sibling. Why? Well, they grow up with you. I mean, siblings in general tend to have the familial familiar relationship where boundaries can get fuzzy, right? Where, you know, I said no, but yeah, you know, or, oh, come on, just do it. That kind of mentality where they know how to push your buttons. They know how to tip you over the edge. They know how to get you to cross that boundary line because they've been doing it since you were little. Okay. And you've been doing it to, in this family dynamic together with a toxic family, especially if there was a narcissistic parent together for a long time. So they know how to get to you. All right. And so the boundary crossing can be really extreme. Like all narcissists, the narcissistic sibling will take zero accountability. They will never apologize in a genuine way. They will never accept any criticism, critiques, conversation about anything that they did that could possibly not be okay. I mean, they could cuss you out for the most minor thing and still point it back to being your fault that that happened or they were just having a bad day or uh, leave me alone, right? They will not take accountability. They will not have a grown up adult healthy relationship with you. And if you go silent, if you try to step away from that dynamic, a narcissistic sibling often will, you know, like I said, they don't allow the boundaries, so they'll just keep coming at you or they will triangulate other people in to cut you out. So if you cut them out, they'll make, your cousin cut you out. You know, they will, they will create this smear campaign or create this triangulated thing where they make you look like the bad guy and you start losing other family members.